blessed are you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery is the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please stand. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A 
a reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a tenth string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Our soul awaits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in Him our hearts rejoice, in His holy name we trust. Exalt you trust in the Lord, sing to Him a new song. Alleluia, Alleluia. Please stand. O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. 
When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Minsan po, mas madali lang i-share yung bigat ng nararamdaman, yung kalungkutan, at minsan, okay lang na mapaiyak kayong dalawa. Kasi, makikisimpatya yung nakikinig sa nararamdaman mong sakit, sa kirot, sa bigat ng iyong dinadala. Pero minsan, gustong-gusto mong i-share yung ligaya, yung tuwa na nararamdaman mo, yung galak. Pero yun po minsan, ang mahirap ibahagi. Bakit? Sometimes, you just want to be prudent. Perhaps the listener would not care. Wala siyang pakialam kung masaya ka. Minsan, nahihiya ka. Baka sabihin nila, ang yabang naman. Nahihiya ka. Kaya nga, si Maria, sa ating pagbasa, may galak, may tuwa. Pero hindi niya sinabi kahit kanino. Alam niyo na ginawa niya? She traveled in haste. Naglakbay pa siya. Para lang ikwento, yung tuwa at galak na nararamdaman niya. Dahil sa biyaya ng Diyos na pinagkaloob sa kanya, pumunta pa siya kay Elizabeth. Pumunta pa siya kay Elizabeth para lang ibahagi ang kanyang galak at tuwa na nararamdaman. Bakit? Kasi alam niya na maiintindihan siya. Alam ni Maria na hindi siya i-judge. Kaya nga po, walang masigit pa na kaibigan sa kaibigan na naiintindihan ka. Na alam ang nangyari sa'yo. Na alam ang pinagdadaanan mo. Na alam kung sino ka. Walang masihigit pa sa kaibigang na iintindihan ka. Kaya nga po yan ang ginawa ni Maria sa ating pagbasa. Sa kanyang galak, hindi niya masabi kahit kanino. Baka maparusahan siya? Baka ma-misjudge siya? Ma-misunderstand siya? Sino ang maniniwala? Nabuntis ako, lalang ng Espiritu Santo. Ipagsasabi niya sa iba. Sino maniniwala? Ang naniwala, si Elizabeth. Dahil alam niya ang pinagdadaanan ni Maria. At alam niyo po, naintindihan ni Elizabeth ang kalagayan ni Maria. Bakit? Dahil pareha sila ng pinagdadaanan Si Elizabeth din ay sinabihan o kaya si Zechariah na kanyang asawa ay sinabihan ng anghel na bubuntis si Elizabeth kahit siya'y matanda na. Si Maria din sinabihan ng anghel na ikay mabubuntis at ang inyong ibubuntis ay lalang ng Espiritu Santo. 
Kaya nga't nagkaintindihan sila. Pero alam niyo po, bago dumating ang bata sa sinapukunan ni Elizabeth, anong nangyari kay Elizabeth? Si Elizabeth po ay matanda na. Nawala na siya ng pag-asa na siya ay magkakaroon pa ng anak. Sa kanyang katandaan, hindi na niya inisip na magkakaroon pa siya ng anak. At habang siya ay nabubuhay, bago dumating ang kanyang anak, siya ay pinag-uusapan, siya ay pinag-chichismisan. Bakit? Ang pagkakaroon ng walang anak sa kanilang panahon ay isang sumpa na malayo ang Diyos sa iyo. Kahit na prominenteng tao ang mag-asawa, si Zechariah ay isang pari na, na naglilingkod sa templo. Maski si Zechariah ay nawalan din ng pag-asa. Hindi na rin siya naniwala. Kaya nga, nung pumunta ang anghel sa kanya at sinabing si Elizabeth ay mabubuntis, anong, anong nangyari? Di ba hindi siya naniwala? At dahil hindi siya naniwala, siya ay pinarusahan. Siya ay hindi nakapagsalita hanggang mailuwal si Juan. Hindi na naniwala si Zechariah. Maski si Elizabeth, nawala na ng pag-asa. Yung mga taong nawala na ng pag-asa, ay hindi mo po malapitan. Hindi mo po mahinga ng tulong. Marahil sila ay iyak na lang ng iyak. Tayo rin po ba ay ganun? Alam niyo po si Elizabeth na ipinakita sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon ay sumisimbolo sa kahinaan ng tao. Si Elizabeth ay sumisimbolo sa kahinaan ng tao. Sa mga pagkakataong akala natin na tayo ay kinalimutan, na tayo ay inabando na, na tayo ay tinalikuran, na akala natin na walang pakialam ang Diyos sa atin, nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa. At yun ay simbolo ng kahinaan. At makikita mo yun sa muka ni Elizabeth, ipinapakita lang na si Elizabeth ay simbolo ng kahinaan ng tao. Nang bawat isa sa atin, ikaw, ikaw, kayo, ako, there are times that you won't believe. There are times that you will doubt There are times that you are scared. May mga pagkakataon na akala natin na iwan tayo. May mga pagkakataon akala natin trinaydor tayo ng taong alam natin na siya lang ang makakaintindi sa atin. And in those moments, we can see the face of Elizabeth. We can see the face of Elizabeth in us. Pero alam niyo po ba ang literal na ibig sabihin ng pangalang Elizabeth? Ang literal na ibig sabihin ng pangalang Elizabeth ay pangako ng Diyos. Pangako ng Diyos, God's promise. At sinasabi lang siguro sa atin na sa kabila ng iyong kahinaan, there is God who promised you to be with you, to save you, to redeem you. There is God who promised you. At sabi pa nga sa kasulatan, I, the Lord your God, has promised and I will do it. 
Kaya nga, anong nangyari kay Elizabeth? Sa kanyang katandaan, kahit siya ay nagduda, kahit hindi naniniwala, kahit sa kanyang kahinaan, God fulfilled His promise. Tinupad ng Diyos ang kanyang pangako that you will bear a son. Tinupad ng Diyos ang kanyang pangako. How much more to those people who believe, love, at kumakapit sa Diyos, how much more to His children? Ikaw pa ba? Kaya pinapaalalahanan sa atin, in times we see Elizabeth in our face, in the face of people, You have to remember, nangako ang Diyos. Nangako siya sa iyo, sa iyo, sa inyo. God has promised and He will fulfill it. God has promised and He will fulfill it. Ngayon dumating si Maria para bisitahin siya. At alam niyo po, Si Maria ay nagdala ng ligaya ng tuwa. At alam niyo po, si Maria ay sumisimbolo sa simbahan. Mary is the symbol of the church. At ang imahe ng simbahan ay isang ina na hinihila palapit ang kanyang umiiyak na anak para siya ipatahan. At pagkatapos, bigyan ng kaligayahan. Hindi ba po ganun ang ginagawa ng ina? Kapag ang kanyang anak ay umiiyak, malungkot, halika. Minsan lalapitan pa. At bibigyan ng konsuelo yayakapin, tatapikin, hahaplusin, tahan na. Pagkatapos, mapapangiti ang bata, mawawala ang alinlangan, mawawala ang takot, mawawala ang pagdududa. At ganun ang ginawa ni Maria kay Elizabeth. The moment I heard your greeting. The baby in my womb leapt for joy. Nang dumating si Maria kay Elizabeth, nagsisitalon sa tuwa ang kanyang anak sa loob ng kanyang sinapupunan. Because the mother of my Lord has come to me. Dinala ni Maria ang galak Dinala ni Maria ang tuwa na dulot ng milagrong binigay sa kanya, ng biyayang binigay sa kanya ng Diyos. Yun ang daladala ni Maria. At alam niyo po, mapapaisip tayo, sino ba ang simbahan? Ito ba ang simbahan? Isn't it that the church is you, 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 You and me? Hindi ba ang simbahan ay tayo? Di ba ang simbahan ay tayo? Kaya't anong hamon sa atin? Anong hamon sa atin bilang isang simbahan? Puntahan si Elizabeth! Puntahan mo si Elizabeth na mahina, na malungkot, na umiiyak and bring Christ and bring the joy that you have with Christ. Kaya nga, sa atin, kung may makita tayong Elizabeth na ating kapatid, puntahan mo. 
At tandaan natin, paano tayo makapagbibigay ng ligaya, ng tuwa? Bring with you Jesus. Sa loob ng sinapupunan ni Maria ay si Jesus na siyang tunay na ligaya, na siyang tunay na kapayapaan. Go to Elizabeth and bring the joy of the gospel. Dalhin mo ang pangako ni Jesus ang ng Diyos. Dalhin mo kung paano naging mabuti ang Diyos sa iyo. Bring the joy. At kapag pumunta ka kay Elizabeth, ano ang dapat na magyari? Mangyari ay dapat magkaroon ng pagtatagpo. An encounter with Jesus. That Elizabeth might have an encounter with the Lord. Kaya nga sa atin siguro, ang hamon, wherever we go, whatever relationship we're in, sana makita nila ang ligaya na dulot ni Jesus sa iyong buhay. Makita sana nila sa atin bilang isang simbahan na tinutupad ng Diyos ang kanyang pangako. Kaya tayo nagagalak. Kaya nga sa nalalapit na Pasko, ano ito para sa atin? Di ba ito yung pagtutupad ng pangako ng Diyos? Nadarating ang Mesiyas. Nadarating ang manunubos. Nadarating ang tagapagligtas. God has promised and He will do it. God has promised something in you and He will do it. Kaya't sa mukha ng mga Elizabeth, huwag tayong mga mba. Tiisin natin. Because God has promised, He will fulfill it. And it is a challenge for us to go to Elizabeth as a church, as what Mary did, to bring the joy of the gospel, to bring Jesus, to bring the story how God became God in our life and how He fulfilled His promise in us. Go to Elizabeth. Bring peace. Bring joy. Please stand. Elizabeth was honored by the visit of the mother of her Lord, but Mary only wished to share her joy. Let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished these chosen women. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church be zealous in spreading the good news of salvation to all people, especially to those in far-flung areas, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> that government leaders show special concern for the poor and the marginalized by their programs and services, let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> that families and communities show gratitude for their individual and communal blessings, let us pray to the Lord. That like Mary, we as a community and as individuals strive to reach out to, the, to our neighbors who are in dire need of our material and spiritual assistance. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Let our beloved dead experience the joy of God's presence in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, for our personal intentions, the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of the Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you manifest your presence among us in the generosity of our brothers and sisters. May we continue to proclaim your love by engaging in a life of service. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sung of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide a path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever. Amen. Please ascend. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, we ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.